If you're looking for the absolute cheapest coins right now in Madden 22, head on over to AOEAH.com and use code Poodle at checkout. Don't miss out. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have the Team of the Week Week 1 reveal. We got all the LTDs, the heroes, the top set pieces, the way the promo works, the solos, the free players, and everything. So much to go over. So if you guys are new to the channel, stay tuned. If you guys aren't new to the channel, you've been here, you already know the deal. Stay tuned. We got a lot to actually cover here, so you don't want to miss it. So First up, guys, if you're new to the channel or you're not new to the channel, once again, and you want to be shouted in the Poodle Squad, all you got to do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, be subbed and have Noni Bells on. Today's shout-out goes out to, let's see who we got today. We got Atomic Jester. Shout-out to me after being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support each and every day. Now, guys, make sure to sub. If you guys need coins, head on down below to my sponsor. You can get a million coins in my code for less than 50 bucks. You don't want to miss out on that opportunity. Way better than packs. You can get 2 million coins for less than one bundle, guys. It, it's just, it's a no-brainer. Unless you have some banger pack luck, but even then, you still probably don't get 2 million coins. But anyways, let's get into the video, guys. So, Team of the Week will be going live today. They said between any time between noon and 6. It's always funny. I literally called it on stream, too. They were like, all right, guys, today it's gonna the Team of the Week's going to be coming. And I was like, add 2 hours to whatever they say. And he was like, noon to 6. So, pretty much, guys, sit in your Xbox from 12 to 6 today. Don't go to school. Don't go to work. Don't feed your family. Sit there and wait for Team of the Week. But yeah, um, we, could, we knew that was coming. Uh, at least the first week, especially. Typically, if things go av like on average, between 2.30 and 3.30 is when you typically see Team of the Week. Usually, they, the target usually is around 2, 2.30. They were pretty good with that last year, but there were some moments where I saw the 6 or I saw the next day one. So, know that it's in the realm of possibilities. But let's head on over to the screenshots, guys. I'll show you guys the entire promo and everything we got to work with. Card, we have Justin Hollins for the Rams, guys. Now, real quick, the way these cards work, they are cards that you can use, but they treat them as collectibles. Pretty much, if this card is a power-up, and they get a card, you're excited. Pretty much, this, these cards signify that the card got an upgrade, whether it be Justin Hollins, that's his first card he has, or his first good card that you can use, or it's a plus one to their power-up. So, if any card here gets a, a, a card, if any guy gets a card here that has a power-up, their power-up's got a plus one overall, so all you gotta do is go over there and click the upgrade button. So, that's pretty cool. So, the stats don't really matter too much. Debo Samuel as well, 80 overall, 86 speed. We predicted that one, so that's one, one for us right there. TJ Watt. Again, TJ Watt, 84. You might be saying, wait, but TJ Watt has a better card than that, right? Well, here you go. These are the plus one comes into effect. I'll show you the screenshot later. TJ Watt's power up, let's say it was an 88. If you go to his power up now, there will be, when it goes live, there will be a new slot like tier 11 opened up, tier 9, whatever it is. And it'll say like plus one, you just add it and you pay the training and your overall gets up, which is a great way to get players better throughout the year. Again, stats don't really matter on these cards unless it's a first card that like, like a Debo Samuel or Justin Hollins. Christian McCaffrey, another guy that got a plus one. So I believe he will be like an 87, 88 overall now. So that's pretty cool. Um, still not fast enough to really be usable right now or ways enough, but still cool that he got one for all you Christian McCaffrey owners in, you know, Madden. Um, Thanos, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not even going to try his name. Uh, I mean, I could try his name, but it's probably going to come out wrong. He has an 87 overall. I imagine he does not have a power up that has a plus one available. So that is going to be a pretty good card for him, though. I mean, the stats aren't too great. He's decently athletic. Nothing much there. Kyler Murray, another plus one. Now, the interesting thing is a plus one on Kyler Murray actually doesn't get to 87. So I don't I don't remember exactly. We have to see, does that 87 go into the power up and give him an 88? Or does his power up just get a plus one from his 82 to get to like an 83, 84, right? I'm not sure. If that is the case, this card is significantly better than his 82. So if you want to use Kyler Murray, you probably just want to use this card. But if it does go into the power up, that's actually a pretty good Kyler Murray power up. And we have the free one coming from Superstar Chaos. So a lot of Kyler this week. Priest Holmes. I actually did predict Priest Holmes in my video yesterday, guys. So if you guys actually watched my Team of the Week predictions, I got it right. I uh, guess in the Legend one, by the way, is the hardest guess prediction like in Madden history. You literally, it could be any week one performer in the history of the NFL. So you go back to 2020, right? The top passers, quarterbacks, wide receivers, and running backs. That's like 15 people, right, total? Any of them are in contention. Also the 2018, 2017, 2016, 2015, all the way back to like 1980. And I guess 2004, whatever it was, Priest Holmes. I find that impressive. Give, comment down below. Give me some Give me some props. 90 speed, 92 excel, 91 agility, 88 carrying, 91 change of direction, 89 break tackle. Trucking's low, catching's low. The card itself, stat-wise, is really good. The only thing is it's very similar to Reggie Bush, and he doesn't weigh a lot, so it doesn't give him an edge. I still prefer Saquon Barkley, in my opinion. Again, if I'm going to go with speed back, I'd probably take Bush, just because Bush has a, a few, you know, better catching and a little bit of other stuff. Meanwhile, the speed isn't significantly different. Oh, sorry. The weight. Rodney Harrison. I actually do. I don't mind this card. He's faster than I thought they'd give him the speed for usually. So that's not bad. 88. I have an 89 speed with an above 90 zone, hit power, tackle, and play rec, which makes him all threshold for all that stuff. 
I wish the hip, I wish the speed was a little bit better though, again, to make him long term. He's kind of like the similar to Brian Dawkins in terms of the speed, where I was like, okay, he's gonna be good right now. He's they're really good right now, but uh, it won't take too much to phase him out. You know, like one, like one more, like we have Ed Reed and Cam Chancellor. If you have both those guys fully chemmed up and powered up and like camp to max the overall, you don't even need a safety 88 speed. You have Ed Reed and Cam destroy him in speed. You can maybe use him as a third, but again, how quickly till we get another 89 or 90 speed or above, right? So take that as it is. Chandler Jones, the uh, the week's hero for this week with five sacks. He had a really good week. 79 speed, 86 excel, 87 strength, 90 tackle, 91 play rec, 86 block shed, and two pound, 88 finesse move. Card's good. Uh, if the block shed was a 90, I would have liked him. But because of that, you're better off going with a few other guys in the game that have better speed and still have the power move threshold and, you know, block shed threshold like that. Kevin Greens, he's not bad. Decent. Miles Garrett looks a lot better, though. Has 82 speed, 87 excel. He's an LTD, though. 92 strength, 89 tackle, 90 play rec, 88 block shot, 92 power move, 90 finesse move. I like Garrett for this reason. Powered up with a, with a, a pass rushing or a run stuffing strategy card, he'll have above 90 power move, finesse move, and block shit, and play rec, and tackle, and strength. And he'll get up to 83 speed powered up. That is really good. I mean, that's going to be a really, really good end card. Again, not as fast as you know maybe some people would like you know some people like those julius pepper 88 speed 89 speeds but for this time of the game it's a really good card and it can stop the stop the run it's kind of like a better aaron donald essentially which i really like so guys this is what i was talking about the plus one so as you see tier six for tj watt was his 88 overall tier seven gives him his plus ones to pretty much all of his stats which gives him a better speed better tackle better finesse move better everything so that's kind of what i referred to there next here you go you can change his card to team of the week now too which is pretty cool make him look like a team of the week card so here are the missions uh you know typical stuff here so you can get a free 87 overall end cat which is not auctionable non-tradable not allowed to set it's team of the week player all you gotta do is beat the team of the week in this challenge and you get it it expires on the 21st so you have a week to do each one so like i, I can't stress this enough guys team of the week is one of the most time oriented solo challenges throughout the year remember you get a free team of the year play which i will go over at at the end of you know week 18 when they start team of the year in january and the only way you can get it is if you get most of your tokens. Again, some years it's 17 tokens or 18 tokens. Some years it's only 15. Some years they give makeups. Again, play them all. Don't take the chance. Point is, you have a week to play these solos. If you don't play them, you do the solo goes away, which means you will not get that token. So if they require a total of 17 tokens and you miss two weeks, now you only have 16 tokens. If they don't do makeups, you're screwed. And again, same thing with the free 87. You can get that Kyler Murray. Yes, you may not be able to actually go ahead and um, put him into a set or anything, but you can quick sell them. They've been pretty good with the training this year. So that's some free training. You can also start an 87 Kyle Murray or an 87 TJ or 84 TJ Wild. You could, some people could start these players. Oh, uh, you know, the Tano, Thanos. So here we go. Take on the game of the week. Recreate this match to earn a team of the year token. Then face off in team of the week to earn and cat elite team of the week player. So you get a team of the uh, year token. Remember, guys, that's important because the team of the year tokens go all together at the end of the year for an auctionable team of the year player. Second up. If you see here at 136 stars, you get pick one of three players of the week. So essentially, guys, if you play and get 136 stars, you will get a fantasy pack containing one of the top Team of the Week heroes of the year. So that means that you're going to open this pack now. There's upsides and downsides, right? That means pretty much you're getting a free Team of the Week set hero like Chandler Jones, a 92 overall. But it could be it's going to be around week 17, and you're going to get any player for a oh, week 18 and get any player from week 18 all the way down to week one. So you could pull the week 18 or 17 or 16 or 15 players, right? And get a pretty good pull. And they're auctionable, by the way. Or you could pull week one Chandler Jones auctionable, only get like 70K off it at, that, at the time, right? So, I mean, there's upsides, downsides. Either way, you're probably guaranteed 70K plus, regardless, because those players should retain some value. That's pretty cool. So far, guys, we have a free team of the year player. We have a free team of the week fantasy pack. And then, of course, we do have a um, the free 87 overall. Here are just some coins and tiers. Again, team of the week, week one. So one of them will be a full game solo. That kind of sucks. Full game solo, and you got to get the bonus stars if you want to get everything you want. You know what I mean? You still get team of the year token at two stars, so really you can just play it on easy if you want to. And then again, some of them will be so some of them will be mission based. I think those are for like the um, the 87 overalls, and then the one that gets you the token. The one that gets you the free player is a journey, like a you know a gauntlet solo real quick, uh, limited time. Uh, so you know, small solo. That's what we'll call it. And then the one that gets you the actual token is a full game. So keep that in mind. Here's the sets. We have the 88 to 80 to 87 overall team of the week player, which you exchange, you know, low, high golds and stuff to earn an 80 to 87 team of the week player. Then we have, you know, the sets here. So to complete the sets, you're going to need three of the 87s, four of the 84s, and five of the 80s, which is just, that's a lot. And honestly, it's a lot. It really is. I don't know how expensive these sets are going to be. I don't know how cheap those 87s are going to be, but you cannot actually use the one you get for free in here. So that does hurt a little bit. Pretty much everything, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Hit me up on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.